TBT. Actually, this is a really... I love this map for TBT. Um, gonna see a lot of everything. Actually, one thing I don't see too much is mech, though. So I would love yeah. to see mech, but um, most likely bio and utilis play would be pretty good to see. Yeah, well, it is forced cross position, so it's a long way to trek for a Terran player if they're rolling those siege yeah. tanks out. And they can get caught out of position with Mutalisk or even Speedling, so it would be good to see Sunder use speed to his advantage with a creep spread throughout the game. Alright, so I am good to go. Are you good to go? Yep, I'm good to go. I'm on your camera now. Okay. Uh, introducing, spawning at about 5 or 6 o'clock, we have from Time of Rising the Pink Terran Zoom. And... Spawning up at about 11 o'clock, we have the Purple Zerg player from Team Mastermind taking out that last game against Skrull, Sunder. And he has there the we go. Get, get in pro, get in pro. Indeed. It's alright, you can jump back to your camera now. I'm just going to yep. zip a bit. And what, I might time out just just a second, because I'm just going to change the graphics just a second. So just, you can keep going. So if anything, Yeah, I think I need to as well, because I was lagging slightly in that last one. There we go, that's sexy. Alright, I'm good to go. Yep, okay, so, yeah, it will be interesting, as you said, to see which composition both players go for. Um, of course, it is a long-distance map, as it is forced cross-position. Not sure if they are aware of the fact that it is, because Thunder Sending is Overlord in the wrong direction, yeah, but... Um... It's very typical, I was going to say, it is very typical to send it that way. If you do send it straight to their base, by the time well, by the time you get over there, the, a Marine can and most likely will be at... I mean, with the new Overlord speed, I suppose a lot of players haven't really tested and tried it, but it is safer to do that as well. Okay, um, fair enough. So it's it's more it's more, more one of those habit things because it you, you don't know. I mean, yeah, you are going to play on a GSL map, but on the off chance that you want and you don't scout over those positions, like you don't want or all you do in just a non-GSL map, then you are sort of stuffed. Yeah, definitely. Um, so it looks like it's going to be a hatch first for Sunder. Yeah. yeah, hatchery going down at 15 supply as he scouts with a drone and command center first for Zoom as well. Well, this is actually very risky from Zoom. If he's not careful, uh, Sunder will be able to rush into his base because uh, just just look how big that ramp is. It's yeah. just so big to uh, pretty much cover. But if he decides to go Macarax after this, so he's building one right, he will be able to complete the wall off, though, which is actually very, very good. Yeah. Uh, but it will take a while to get a bunker down. And... Oh, I, I probably just alt-tabbed out. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, it will take him a while to get a bunker a bunker down, but it's a, it is a long-distance map, so it's pretty safe for Zoom to... Actually, now it is very safe for Zoom to do that expansion. Uh, Sunder did go for a third base. Now, as a Terran, you, can, you can't assume, but it's, you, you can pretty much safely assert, uh, discern that your opponent isn't going to just go Hail Mary on your ass and go straight for you. It's, it's very uncommon, especially on a map like this where it's very, very big. Yeah. So, I mean, look... Zoom's going to scout, he's going to go over there, he's going to scout for that third, and once he sees that third and that natural, he's going to feel pretty safe. Yep. But of course, at the same time, I mean, look, he can, uh, th there goes the bunker as well, so he can uh, defend against any sort of rush, so he would have obviously planned in case it happens, but he's going to feel safe, he's going to be able to macro up. Yeah. But yeah, this is going to be an interesting game, because in the sc 2 sea thread, there were calls of Zoom all kill. so will we see him take a game for his team, or... Will those dreams yes. be shattered? Ooh. Zoom is actually a very good player. He's like one of the few people that I actually love because he like he, he always makes hilarious bad hilariously good and bad comments about me. But he's <laughs> you know, a really, really fantastic player. I mean, I don't get to unfortunately get to see him too late too much. So this would be really, really good to watch. Yeah. So nothing too unusual really. It will be interesting to see. Yeah, we do have a factory going down as well as a rat. So we'll see some double hellions putting on some pressure for Sunder from Mastermind. Now, did he scout that third? He did scout that third. Now, this is actually really, really good play here. Um, now, normally, if had he not scouted that third, I suppose Reactor Hellions would probably be not be the best choice, but because that third's there, he can be assured that that, that Zergling Speed isn't going to be there. So the only thing Sunder's got to defend against this is Queens. And that third has no Queen. It's got no units to defend it. So uh, Zoom can effectively just deny mining from that base for a while, deny production from that base for a while as well. Yeah, definitely. And there's no creep spread, so it would take forever to get there. Yeah, but... so that will come up slowly. But uh, unfortunately, Sunder's not going to be able to do that. So yeah, uh, he will be in trouble. If uh, Zoom decides to be fairly aggressive. Few links coming out now for Sunder. It will delay mining at this 
base for a while. There are Marines and they will be able to jump into that bunker. You need to try to get them into the bunker, otherwise they're not going to yeah, do well out on their own. But yeah, deal. the Hellion. Oh gee, that, that, that Hellion mopping up. Did take a bit of damage though, the Hellion. But yeah, yeah. anyway. As I say, you know, that was that was really nicely timed there and actually going to swap them over there. Here we go. So now we're going to go straight into Hellion production. And uh, Sunder did see that. So the spine crawlers immediately are going down and that's going to help him defend a great deal. Yeah, so I guess it was better that he put on the early pressure and now he knows what's coming rather than sitting back and trying to play defensively and being surprised when the Hellions come. Yeah, um... Now, we have a uh, extra couple of racks coming down, and we actually have a double engineering base, so our Zoom is going straight for those double upgrades, and that's actually really good. So he's going to be able to do a timey push straight off this, yeah. and uh, Sunder's going to be very vulnerable. He's not going to have lair tech in time to defend against this. If he does have lair tech, though, I mean, he's not going to have much of anything. He's not going to have banelings, and banelings are really the only way he's going to be able to cope with this, or... Uh, having the extra attack, but uh, Zoom will be able to go in, he's going to be able to scout a tiny bit, going to see what he needs to see. Yeah, he's trying to do something now, Zoom, with these Hellions, but the Spine Crawl is not really allowing that, although he does get into the main and he takes out the Ling resistance, Queen tries to get there to help out, but he's going to get a few free shots away on this mineral line, and he did clump him up as well, Sunder, those drones. If we look at the workers killed, he's managed to kill four with these Hellions, but that's not worth it. That doesn't trade equally unless he can get these Hellions out alive or kill some extra drones. He's going to be a bit behind on resources, especially with four queens now targeting down the Hellions. Yeah, these Hellions are going to go down. But at the same time, look, he's going to be confirming what's in the base of Sunder. He knows exactly what's going on with the, regarding yeah. gas. He knows what's going on regarding drones. So he knows Sunder's drone a great deal. And this is going to work really well for Zoom. We have the Starbot coming down. We have level 1 weapons coming down as well. We will have the armor coming down soon. And he will be able to make a push off these two bases with uh, Marines and Medivacs. And I wouldn't be surprised to see him... Uh, actually, I was going to say, I wouldn't be surprised to see him trade over that factory for Siege Tanks to do yeah, elevator drop, but at the same time, yeah. uh, that stuff, we're like, I don't know what Zoom's doing, he's confusing me. <laughs> um, but uh, we do have the uh, reactor on the starport, so it wouldn't be uh, he will be able to uh, produce double medivacs and start going for drops. We've got a lair as well at the natural for Thunder, and he's getting the roach warren as well. So that's the best thing he can do right now, really, because with a few hellions, his lings aren't going to do much at all, especially if he fears blue, flare, uh, blue flame. Well, I'd, ideally, most Herons will only build a few Hellions. I mean, look, if if uh, Zoom decided to stick to Hellions, uh, Sunder would definitely know about it. And Roaches are good. You can get a few Roaches, or you can get a lot of Roaches. Regardless, you have to either go one or the other. If you sort of go in the middle, it doesn't really work. Yeah. And we do have Carapace coming, so those, they will be able to absorb a whole lot of damage. But a typical mid-game for Zerg now, you can go Roaches. Oh, he is getting Banelings, but you can go straight into Infestor, and they do great against drops as well. So... Uh, Sunder's going to be really well defended against pretty much everything, and Zoom's going to be hard-pressed, but at the same time, remember, Zoom does have that third base coming. Yeah, and we do see a Siege... Uh, sorry, we see a Tech Lab going down on the factory, so Siege tanks are going to come out soon, and Roaches really aren't that great an option uh, up against Siege tanks. But as you said, infestation oh, it, is going it's a, it's down. A, it's a 50-50 thing. Um, they can be, and they some, sometimes they can, sometimes they can't. It depends how they use if you have a lot of roaches, you spread them out and you flank. Yeah. Just, it's just it's the same thing with lings. If you just run them in, yeah, they're going to die. But if you spread them out, roaches are fantastic, especially if you send them in first, then the lings in after. Oh my god, like yeah. they are like the best thing. It, it, it's one of those things that uh, you have to play positionally. But we do have a drop coming down for Zoom. A lot of queens though for uh, Thunder, so I don't think the drop's going to do too much damage, especially with all these lings. One medivac actually does go down, so oh, these units fantastic uh, drop micro there, picking up all those marines at the last minute, and he's going to be able to take out a few more units, and all those lings going down. Yeah, so, it's probably been an effective drop, really. He did lose the one medivac and the units that would have been inside them, but now he looks like he's going to try to drop run to the main, and those lings are going to have to pull up fast. Although it's moving just right across the map. Yeah, he doesn't know this is happening. The unit's not even a queen. It's not even a queen, because they were all helping with that drop at the third. A queen gets back now. He pulls... Oh, nice, nice the catch there by uh, Zoom. Yeah, Ling's now coming back. They were almost three quarters of the way across the map. Oh, uh, that was a nice scan. Zoom has uh, scanned the uh, hive. Did he scan the spy, though? I think he did. Hang on, I'm just going to check that. He did scout the spy, he scouted high. So he knows that brood, brood lords aren't too far yes. away. And we'll definitely see him produce vikings, I think. Just get a small number of vikings uh, in that force. And then, 
yeah, it'll do a lot of damage on those Broodlords. Yeah, and um, now Sunder can actually do a couple of things here. If Sunder can either keep going with Brood Tech, or he can actually tech switch into Ultralisk. Um, now, either way, it's not actually a bad thing because Sunder does have all those ground upgrades. So he will be it will be effective regardless. But at the same time, we have five investors coming as well. So this this army uh, army does complement either. But if he goes Ultralisk and Zoom just like goes, well, you've got um, you're going Brutech. I'm going to get Vikings. Yeah. Well, then if Ultralisk start coming out, you're dead. It's sort of like a, a bluff, double bluff, triple bluff. You know, he's like, well, I know that you know that I know that I'm going Brutech. Yeah. But you yeah. Know you know that I'm going Ultralisk and you don't know that. Something like that. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do have a fourth that's finished for Sunder as well, though, so he's trying to stay ahead on bases, and I think it's going to get scouted as well by this Marine. And this yeah, it will get scouted. Very, um, very bad play here by Sunder. I mean, it's not... Not a bad thing that he's gone for the fourth. That fourth is fantastic. He needs to get that to get the gas for as an opportunity to increase the amount of brew loss he can get. But he's only got a, a 63 worker capacity. That's only barely enough to saturate three bases. Yeah. At the moment, he's only going to be barely mining enough uh, minerals, let alone gas. He needs the extra workers. He needs to saturate all those bases. Uh, but at the same time, I mean, look, he's, it, it, it is helping. It is going to increase his uh, mining efficiency, but he needs that gas for those brew lords. Yeah, but the thing is, he's going to try to take that out, Zoom. Yeah, he is. He's moving across now. Siege tanks, Marines, a couple Marauders, Medivacs. Uh, no Vikings yet, because I guess he knows... Oh, yeah, there is, there is one Viking in there, but I guess he knows that Broodlords are a long way away at this stage. It's a trap, and so see what's going to happen. Zoom's going to move in, then Sunder's going to be able to get in position, and Sunder's just going to go... Actually, no, it's, yeah, but, yeah, he is. He's running across with all those Counter attack, that's fantastic. Sacrifice the base, and he's going to be able to do so much damage. There are no planets. The door is open as well for Zoom. Wide open. So oh, many no. links. And, uh, <laughs> the door's still open because there's yeah. nothing in the way, but there we go. So this is, we might even see a base trade scenario at the moment. Yeah, although there are Broodlords back at home for Sunder, so they'll be able to do a little bit of damage in terms of putting off the attack. And just links is going to work everywhere. There are some in the mineral line at the main, there's some at the natural, lagging a little bit. Uh, I'm lagging quite a fair bit, and I can't even get off the drag that I'm on, but there we go, Ling's now on the ramp, and as you said, it is going to be a bit of a base trade, we've got Marine, and Infestor's caught out of position, he did get a fungal so caught away. actually a great position here to do this, I mean, look, the, the, the Terran army here, he has Bionic, he has this uh, he has uh, the, the tank sound, that's going to help him against any sort of Zergling pressure. But I mean, Broodlords aren't very effective if you've got nothing to tank for them. And they have got nothing here, and these Marines will be able to stim straight underneath them, but he needs He's to get... to take out the tanks, though. He takes out one tank straight away with those Broodlords. How many Broodlords are there? There are six. He takes out the second tank, and there are a lot of links. I think this up, and with the damage he's done back at the base of Zoom, I fancy he's done the position to take this game. Yeah, uh, Sunder actually did did take advantage of the uh, Broodlords there, but at the same time, all that really needed to happen there was zoom to stim underneath those Broodlords, he would have been in a good position. But he did do a tiny bit of damage to that base, he destroyed it, so there's two mining bases facing off against three mining bases. Well, sorry, I should say no mining bases, you know, because yeah. uh, zoom isn't He's mining, mining at all. Mules. He has four but, harvesters. Uh, he'll be able to back up. He has four harvesters though, and... I think it's going to be one of those matter of time things because I think eventually Sunder's going to be able to overrun this. The army is so weak. Yeah, he did drop everything. This is just a death drop. Broodlord so slow. We'll take him a while to react. And now we're going to see the Ling attempt to engage at this ramp. And those units of Zooms are so weak. It was a bad engagement for Sunder, but the units are so weak that eventually the Lings will just eat through that. They're two true Zerglings. And now he's going to try to clean up this drop with some Broodlords, I think. I don't I don't know how this is going to go. Actually, you know, he does have six Broodlords on the field, so that's all right. But all um, Zoom really has to do is re-pick up his units. And there are a lot of Marines here. They do take a while to die. And he's just going to be able to pick up and re-drop them at his leisure. So he's going to be able to go back down, get into a better position, and then re-go for it. Yeah, but this is it. I mean, if Zoom loses that army, he loses the game. So he needs he, to be he really careful. Everything. He needs but to Zoom, get careful. your fight. Back over with those Broodlords and kill them, dude! Get your Vikings over there! Yeah, exactly. There's no anti-air at all. Now he's finally moving those Vikings over. Um, there's no anti-air at all for to support those Broodlords. So, we'll be in a lot of trouble. He gets this run by right as the Planetary Fortress finishes. 
and he saved a couple of the link, but I think Zoom has more bases than he has harvesters at the moment. Yeah, he does. He's got one harvester, and he's got he about does three have, bases. What's it, one, two... He has, he has three orbitals, so he will be able to build. He needs to lift up that last issue. He needs to... He's losing defend. Overlord and Broodlord. This is actually great from Zoom. There so are he's no, actually, yeah, there are no Broodlords left at all. Thunder, so this is a really weird game position at the moment. But mm. I still fancy Thunder's position due to him having the agility of the speedlings. Yeah, at the same time that that planetary will defend that uh, base adequately, he does have marines, and those marines are 2-2 two -two as well, so they can do a lot of damage. So really, all, Sun all Thunder really needs, and that's what he's got, Infestors, either Festers or Banelings to take out that bio army, and then he can just pretty much go straight for it. But he has no unit to tank damage for the planetary fortress. Yeah. Although Broodlords will do a lot of damage to that planetary fortress, uh, eventually. Mealists are going to get caught out, so uh, he's doing the damage that he needs and to. And he's going to a lot of overlords as well. He's stimming in with all those marines and he's running up the ramp. There are no banelings or anything for Thunder. But it's a fantastic position for Thunder. A lot of roaches. Sorry, not for Thunder, for Zoom. Yeah. All the way around. A lot of roaches and lings, but not really going to be enough to engage in that force. There's just so many medivac as well. There's like one medivac per marine. This, this force is Thunder is split up though. Back. Thunder has it. Thunder's going to take out all of those Marines. There are a few left over. He doesn't have any fungal growth. He gets yeah, one away. The power of uh, Medivacs. They yeah. are so strong. They are very they weak though. He will lose one. Zoom not even choosing to... Leaving the others behind as kind of decoys. A fungal growth from those infestors would take that out. He now catches these two in. Yeah, the, 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 I was going to say the last two. It's just a bit too far, but they that would have been fantastic had he got it. Yeah. And now we're back to, uh, sorry, two, uh, two mining bases. and uh, really weird. Zoom, Zoom has one mining base, but he does have those mules there. So that's going to help tremendously, and that will bring their incomes pretty much even. Yeah. Actually, if, if not, sorry, Zoom actually has a bigger income because of the He's got even mules. more. He's got an orbital command. I'm not sure if he even has that hotkey, but he does have an orbital command. No, he doesn't have this orbital command at about the 3 o'clock position hotkey, and it's full energy, so there are four more mules that he could use if he chooses to. Actually, yeah, that's actually a very good point to make. Uh, now he, uh, Sunder's actually going to GG right there. Um, wow. That just comes back down to that drops on those mobility. Um, that was a really, that was a really weird game. That could have gone either way at so many points in time.